Hi guys, it's Junior. Today I'm going to do my Star Wars review. As you tell, I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. Because each time I do a review, if I've got the t-shirt, I'll wear it. That's another way that I'll do it. Uh, I don't have Star Wars on Blu-ray or DVD because I sold them. Now, before you lot jump down my neck in the comments over that, the reason I sold them is because all the films are on Disney+, Plus, so it's a bit pointless. Now, before I start my review, all of you Star Wars fans are going to get a telling off from me and a tongue lashing. Because I, I, I don't have a problem with people having their opinion on whether they do or they don't like a movie. Okay? Now, I've watched the franchise of Star Wars. Uh, not really watched too much of the TV shows, except Obi-Wan Kenobi and The Clone Wars. Admittedly, I've watched them through twice. Uh, they're okay. <clears throat> but the turn-off is coming from uh, you Star Wars fans... And critics have torn apart The Phantom Menace and Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, there is nothing wrong with those films. You guys asked for a story, a prequel, right, about Anakin. You got it. Yes, okay, they, okay, they started from when Anakin was a kid. So what? What's the problem with that? There isn't a problem with that. It explains his story from when he was a child, okay? And the fact you've torn apart the Jar Jar Binks character. Jar Jar Binks is funny. If you guys can't find him funny, then all of you need a new brain, okay? He's hilarious. There's nothing wrong with that character. Ahmed Best did the best that he could with that character. He is funny. He is fine. There's nothing wrong with any of the story elements. There's nothing wrong with the story element in Attack of the Clones. Okay? So what if if that between Padme and Anakin feels like a soap opera? Uh, excuse me. They're trying, they are falling in love and trying not to admit it. There is nothing wrong with that. It is a subplot. Minty, I'm moaning at you for this as well. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Those films are fine the way they are, okay? Stop tearing apart those films. And especially Solo. What the hell is wrong with you lot? I mean, really? You asked for a backstory on Han Solo. You got it because we all wanted to. I was one of them too. I was the same with Phantom Menace and that. I wanted to know what happened prior. What happened Darth Vader? When he was younger, before he became Darth Vader, right? The same with Han Solo. I would know. I wanted to know how he met Chewie. We got that. We got that story element. There's nothing wrong with Solo. It's a brilliant movie. It's well the story. The story on him is well told. Pack it in, you lot. Okay, you're supposed to be true Star Wars fans. True Star, Star Wars fans accept what they are given. You ask for background stories, you got them. Shut up and stop bloody complaining about them, okay? It's getting, it's getting old and it's getting annoying. It is, there's having your opinion, not liking it, fine. You don't need to keep plugging on about it. That's my point. We, you got what you asked for and then you moaned about it. Waste of breath. The film exists. Don't like it? Tough. You don't have to watch it, do you? They made the film. Uh, Star Wars, uh, Disney and that. They didn't force you lot to watch it, did they? They didn't put a gun to you and say, you've got to watch the film. If you don't watch it, I'm going to shoot you. That didn't happen, did it? No, it didn't. So stop beating up the films. The, the, main, story, the main story of Star Wars is fine. Okay, right, moan over. This is my opinion review. Now, yes, I know I said I don't watch the TV series. The other TV series like Bad Batch, The Mandalorian. Well, I have seen clips of The Mandalorian, obviously, because you can't help it when you're, when you're on YouTube. You end up running into them accidentally, and I've seen some of the trailers and that, and it looks all right. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. It's just 
oh, I don't know, I just don't get the feel. Even when I run through Star Wars in chronological order, by the way, one to nine. Uh, yeah, so I don't really watch, but I do stick with the main films because I am all right, okay. I am a true Star Wars fan. I really am. I just prefer the main movies. That's all I'm saying. I prefer the main story. I do watch Obi-Wan Kenobi every time. Main reason I watch that is because obviously it's or it's 10 years after the events of, Reven of Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I'm a big fan of Darth Vader. He's my number one favourite character. Yes, I know I've gone for the obvious. So what? If I had to really pick my favourite Jedi, same as everybody else's. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker, if you want to go on the Jedis. I do like Mace Windu. I think he's cool, played by Samuel L. Jackson. He is cool. And I do like the theory, and um, could be true, that his um, lightsaber's got a uh, bad mother bucker on it. Sorry for swearing. So well, if that's true and that he did have that put on his lightsaber, well then, well done Samuel Jackson for having that done for you. Uh, and one thing I will agree with though, because now I'm going to, well no, hang on, I review 4, 5 and 6, Look, they're brilliant, they're the originals, okay, so they're fantastic, yeah, I love the story as I said, I love the whole story, 4, 5 and 6, fantastic. Brilliant. You see more of Darth Vader, obviously. So I, as you can imagine, I love that. Um, but yeah, when it comes to 7, 8 and 9, yeah, everything I just said at the beginning of the video, that is the one bit I would agree with. Yeah, with the rise of Skywalker and finding out that Palpatine was behind everything and they brought that character back. Yeah, I'm, I do have to agree that was a bit of a letdown even for me. And like you guys, I'm a Star Wars fan. It's uh, yeah, I didn't like that. I mean, the film itself, that aside, the film itself is fantastic because I'm the one that likes the thirds. You know, like Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi, and then, of course, The Rise of Skywalker. But I have to admit, that was a bit of a letdown. I was like a little slap in the face. Before they announced it was coming back, I thought it was going to be, I don't know, maybe Darth Vader, not Anakin. Like, somehow they found where putting, like, a robot thing me inside the suit or something. I don't know. That's what I thought it would be. Or, I don't know, some other more powerful Sith that had been behind everything. No, we had to find out that it was Darth Sidious, a.k.a. Palpatine, behind the whole thing. So, yeah, that kind of let the film down for me. While, the rest, as I said, the rest of the film was good, yeah, that was uh, like a slap in the face. But overall, like I said, Darth Sidious aside, again, I thought... 789 was fantastic. Uh, my favourite character, now you lot are probably going to bash me in the comments for this, but I don't care. This is my review, like it or lump it. Uh, my favourite character for 789, that has to be Ray. Played by the gorgeous, lovely Daisy Ridley. Yeah, a little bit of a crush on her, I'm afraid. It, she's hot, come on. Daisy Ridley, she's hot. You have to admit that. And she she plays. The character brilliantly well. I th and it is a sequel to the other Star Wars film. Stop with the soft reboot rubbish. I don't want to hear it anymore. It is a continuation of the story. Duh. Anyway. Enough moaning. And I like Rogue One. Obviously. Yeah. Okay, that is fantastic. Directly before A New Hope. You can't get any better than that. Can you? And again, as I said, I did watch The Clone Wars. I know I'm doing this out of order. Out of order. Tough. Uh, yeah, so I did watch The Clone Wars series. As I said, I've watched it twice now. Uh, the, the second time I watched it all the way through, rather than half of it. And I did watch the cartoon animated one. I thought the cartoon animated one, the cartoon animated one was okay. I think this, the main CGI animation was better. Well, I said, I don't, like I said, I stick with the main story of the films. So, yeah, I, I did thoroughly enjoy them. Obviously, 
as you can imagine, I'm a bit of a Disney fan. It's self-evident. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Because I do have Angry Birds Star Wars. Now, a slight... I'll include Angry Birds a little bit in this video. Because I know normally I want to stick with like one, one review of one thing. But because they merged it, I will add this one. Okay? So, Angry Birds Star Wars. Now, as I said, I'm a bi big fan of Angry Birds as well. I'm annoyed that the, the, the classic Angry Birds game has been removed off of Google Play Store. Google, could you please put that back? Okay, the Angry Birds classic, put that back on your app store, please. With all the bits and bobs in it, you know, the Target and the Earthquake and that. It would be nice to put that back. You can see if you can... Find a deal with Sega. Now they own the Rov Rovio company. Oh, yeah, for the user that don't know. Yeah, Sega own the Rovio company now that own Angry Birds. So, anyway, back to Star Wars. Uh, yeah, so this game, a uh, bit rubbish at some of it. I can do some of it. Some of it I'm rubbish at. But, yeah, Angry Birds Star Wars. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, unfortunately, I don't have the physical copy, but I have played... The Lego Star Wars games. Ah, oh, man, they are brilliant. I love them. I love I love the Lego game franchise. Don't get me wrong. I I yeah, I I love Lego. Guys, I'm a nerd, okay? I'm a nerd, and I'm proud to admit that. I'm a 36-year-old nerd, okay, and I'm proud of it. I am not ashamed to admit that. But the Lego Star Wars games, excellent. And talking about that, um, Laser Brick Lego James, watch some of his videos, okay? So big shout out there for you, James, when you watch this for your channel. But yeah, um, but Lego Star Wars, I have played the early ones. Unfortunately, don't tell me off of this. I haven't played the recent one yet because I haven't been able to afford to get it. When I do, I will play the Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, okay? But I have, like I said, I've played the earlier ones, so I do know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I love Lego Star Wars, but I love all the Lego games. And I've watched the Lego movies as well. Fantastic. So yeah, no, so a little mix here. I was supposed to be reviewing Star Wars here. Anyway, so so for the entire Star Wars movies, TV shows, games, the whole thing is excellent. I do love the story. I must admit, now, I do like 7, 8, and 9 of the Star Wars movies. They are brilliant. But like most of you, I do prefer them up to 6. I have to admit that. Reason being is because while I see what Disney were doing, I do sort of half agree they could have left it in a way. I'm one of these... I'm going to give you a little explanation, okay? My old-fashioned mindedness. I'm sort of... I prefer the ambiguous mind. You know, leaving you to think what you think was the continuation of. What, where do you think it went? So for, just so for argument's sake, they didn't make the, the other films. They may have stuck with the TV shows, but didn't make the other movies. They can have left it to your own mind, your own inter interpretation of what happened afterwards, you know. Did Luke go to the dark side? Did he stay on the light side and become a Jedi? Most likely, we know he became a Jedi at the end. But, you know, what I'm saying is it they could have left it to your own mind. You're, you make it up yourself. Your own ideas. And I'm that old-fashioned minded type. While I don't mind them doing that in certain films, yeah, sometimes there are some things that should be left alone. Now, I know it's a bit bloody late, really, isn't it? Because they've already done it. I'm just saying at the time, maybe they could have done. But they didn't. They continued it. And I think they have continued the story well. I don't care what you lot say. I think Disney have done a brilliant job. With their, with the Star Wars films. I personally think in the continuation of the story. And as long as they're going to stick to that, I don't have a problem. Okay. Right. I'm doing a another review right after this so i'll be up so i'll be doing that in a bit okay let's get five likes for this video let's get me up to um 150 subscribers hit the bell button and the subscribe 
hit the bell button and the subscribe button to see more videos coming soon. Ding, ding, done. Okay, bye guys.